I'm going to read to you a segment from the diaries of Mercia Iliad. And those of you that are interested in religions and theology, his books are a fantastic wealth of knowledge. But this is from his diaries, and this is the 25th of November 1959. So he's living in America, in Chicago. This evening, while I was making the trip from the campus to town, I watched the headlights of the cars on the road through the train window. They formed a single, dazzling, slightly wavy line. All these people were going home, that is, twenty or a hundred kilometres from their offices in the centre of Chicago. Wherever one goes in the United States, one can always see the same thing everywhere. People hurrying to go home or to go to work. Thousands or tens or hundreds of thousands of cars next to one another, one after the other. What makes it serious is that there is nothing that can be done about it. Tomorrow or the day after it will be the same thing in Europe. The sadness that overwhelms me at night in Paris every time I go home and look at those rows of cars parked on the two sides of the street. For that is the very problem that is obsessing me. Although I see man crushed, asphyxiated, diminished by industrial civilization, I can't believe that he will degenerate, decline morally and finally perish completely sterile. I have a limitless confidence in the creative power of the mind. It seems to me that man will succeed, if he wishes, in remaining free and creative in any circumstance, cosmic or historical. But how can the miracle be brought about? How can the sacramental dimension of existence be rediscovered? At this point, so much can be said. All the things that have existed we have not definitively lost. We find them again in our dreams and our longings. And the poets have kept them. This is to say nothing of the religious life, because the authenticity and depth of the religious life among my contemporaries seems to me a most mysterious problem. There must be a way out. Aldous Huxley proposes mescaline, alcohol, drugs. There will be a great deal to say on that score. These are the words of Mercia Iliad.